Well, this is our cone beam CT for this morning's patient. Uh, and as you'll see here, we have um, evidence of a titanium mesh that uh, was placed approximately seven months ago. So as we saw on the cone beam CT uh, views, we uh, of course have an augmented ridge. And of course what we did not see radiographically is of course to appreciate the relative thinness of the mucosa through here. So we'll start with a 15 C blade and um, basically the design will be such that again a crestal is to completely visualize this mesh, the margins of it so that we can remove it completely. The key here is to keep that needle, this needle tip parallel to the mesh so that we don't buttonhole through our flap just as if we're using a blade. Same basic principles. Okay so now with the mesh removed let's uh, do a nice little visual of what we've got. We know this bone is a little bit loose as you can see right in through here and uh, now we can go ahead and continue with our final drill which is the 2.5. So here we have our implant ready to be placed with our extender. We're at 20 RPMs and our insertion torque is set at 32 newton centimeters. No tension now. The assistant has to be very alert to that so that we have no tension on the flap as we close it. These are delicate sutures, delicate flap margins, and we want no tension at all. So, in summary, uh, we were able to remove the titanium mesh, uh, as you saw, and uh, of course place these two implants, uh, one each in the, um, just off the midline of the mandible.